do it for the country It's not about the thing They do it for the They do it for the They do it for the USA Hey guys, still on the floor of the 2017 SHOT Show, and I'm in the Inland Firearms booth, and I'm with Ron, and Ron's got something really unique and very special to talk to you about. So Ron, take it over. Yes, sir. Well, everybody knows that Inland has come out with a lot of historic platforms, primarily the M1 carbines. Well, we've got some new uh, modern twists to the Inland story as well. Uh, this year, we're releasing our first uh, suppressor. It's our uh, PM22 model. PM stands for uh, Polymer Monocore 22 or Rimfire uh, platform for a suppressor. Five and a half inches long, three and a half uh, ounces in weight. One of the lightest, smallest suppressors on the market. Unscrew that and show them what's inside. You're, well, you're going to be blown away. Well, first of all, before I unscrew it, the biggest problem with the uh, Rimfire suppressors. They get dirty. They get dirty. So you, they get yeah, dirty you have to be able to take them apart. You have to take apart. You have to. And I'm not new to suppressor designs. I've been working with suppressors for many, many years. I've uh, been working primarily with law enforcement military applications. This is the first time we're doing for public. The reason I've, I've hesitated going to a retail suppressor, so many people do not understand suppressor technology, and when they take one apart, they can't put it back together correctly. You get bullet strikes, you got problems, and you got complaints. I want to build one that we didn't have that issue. And with that being said, I did mention PM22 means polymer monocore. Polymer. Check that out, hippies. One piece made of polymer for a 22 rimfire pan. And I and this is designed, it works well dry, works as well as most 22 suppressors do dry. And when I say dry, uh, for people who are familiar with suppressors, uh, if you use a suppressor wet, you're using oil or the old standby water, water. In Vietnam, it was urine, but you would pour it into your suppressor, you would wet it, and that water would help um, minimize the sound. It cools the gases and it uh, gives a little more efficiency of the suppressor. However, a, a light fluid like water, oil, will drip down into your action and can cause issues with your firearm. So with that being said, we've, I've been working on this product for over 10 years. Uh, we call it DB Foam. It's a uh, foam, aerosol foam designed specifically for suppressors. DB meaning decibel. Uh, decibels. And we have, uh, this will give you about three to five decibel drop on any suppressor. It has rust inhibiting properties if you use a uh, suppressor that uh, can rust, which many, many stainless alloys can still rust. Oh yeah. And, any, uh, uh, and if you're using a mild steel, while they work really well for suppressor applications, they are prone to rust. This takes care of that. It also lubricates and it collects any unburnt particles, powders that can have a tendency to backwash into your action. And if it does backwash, it's got lubricating qualities and will not uh, damage your action. And after so many hundred rounds, you to take this out? Not just hundred rounds, this particular suppressor, we put over 2,000 rounds through it on Monday at the range, and we kept it uh, juiced up with our foam. It's good for about 20 or 30 rounds before you juice it again. Uh, all we had to do, it's water soluble. We wash it out with hot water, and this is what we ended up with. All the contaminants, all the lead, all the powders, it's gone. All right, now everybody at home is thinking, I'm interested and I want to know more. Are these, is all the information available on Inland's website? It will be soon. We just released this at the show here shortly. It will be available. But the most important part on it, how much? Uh, this suppressor retails for $189, and that includes a four ounce can of uh, suppressor foam. All right, so brand new 22 can from Inland Manufacturing, less than 200 bucks, less than the cost of a tax stamp. How could you go wrong?